Ireland's first woman Chief Justice, Susan Denham. Chief Justice, here we are in your place of work. Welcome to the Four Courts, the centre of the administration of justice in Ireland, to this magnificent round hall around which you see the Four Courts that gave it its original name. Now, originally, uh, these were four courts, uh, the Courts of Common Pleas, the Courts of Chancery, the Courts of King's Bench, and the Courts of Exchequer. Today, they are High Courts. And uh, when you look around this building, you'll see there are two plaques. Uh, there is one plaque, which uh, we uh, erected in 1996, when we were celebrating 200 years of the administration of justice here, uh, when President Robinson came uh, to celebrate with us. And there's another plaque uh, which celebrates those men who died or had to leave Ireland in uh, 1798 after the uh, rebellion. And there you'll see the names of Wolf Tone, the Shears brothers, and Thomas Addis Emmett. And this building was destroyed in the Civil War and um, completely reduced to rubble. And whereas originally we had statutes in each of the alcoves, we now no longer have them. And uh, most of the pillars were very badly damaged, but in fact they were able to swivel them. So the damage is out of sight. And the absolutely magnificent dome was completely destroyed. Um, it was originally handcrafted um, bricks, uh, but it is now poured concrete. But it is beautiful, isn't it? This must have been a pretty daunting place to walk through as a young barrister. 40 years ago, is that when you entered the profession? Yes, that's right indeed. <laughs> I can't believe the years have gone so quickly. Yes, uh, 40 years ago when I started, uh, coming in here was daunting and challenging. But of course it's daunting and challenging still for young barristers. But a major difference would have been that when I came in here on a Monday to do the motions list, the court would be packed, 100 plus and I would often be the only woman. Really, yes. Well, mm. times have changed, thankfully, Thank in that regard. I'd love to see inside one of the courts, may we? Yes, indeed. Well, this is a court, a typical court that you will find in the four courts. Mm -hmm. You will see uh, above the judge the harp. Oh, yes. And uh, then sitting uh, in centre there will be the judge of the high court. Mm -hmm and below him will sit the registrar who will be managing the court business and then we'll have the solicitors for uh, both sides in the case and here will sit uh, senior counsel for both sides and here will sit junior counsel and we'll have the jury over here but of it's course a very recognizable spot isn't it, it the is, it the is, jury chairs it is indeed but uh, in the four courts now we hear only civil cases and uh, most civil cases don't have a jury. What's the difference now, Chief Justice, between, say, this court and the Supreme Court? Let me show you. OK. And what's the specific role, then, of the Chief Justice? Well, in relation to the court work, uh, the Chief Justice presides in the Supreme Court and organises the work of the court and how it will be managed and how it will be listed and who will sit on the cases. Well now, Chief Justice, this is the building that we're familiar with from our TV screens. Yes, indeed, it's our new Criminal Courts of Justice, uh, an iconic building on the west side of Dublin, and this is where we hear criminal trials. This is the Great Hall, and it's designed so that when you walk into the hall, you can look round and see all the courts. You can see the numbers in the courts, and you can see your way to access the courts, and there's the information boards, and so you're immediately at ease mm -hmm. in dealing with the building. Because these are very stressful situations that people Absolutely. find themselves to be People in are coming in here, whether they're um, uh, witnesses, or whether it's their family, or whether they're jurors, um, it is a very dramatic time mm -hmm. in their lives. And this building is beautifully designed to deal with uh, the matters that are at hand. Ah, 
Well, you know, so this is one of the courts and typical of uh, the 22 courts in this building. And you can see illustrated the uh, technology which is now so important. Uh, for example, DA, the digital audio recording, everything is recorded as it is heard. And this is wonderful because it keeps a good record, but also it has actually proved very helpful because witne when witnesses give evidence, sometimes the jury would like to hear it again, and so you can just play it back and hear it very clearly. Um, we also are able to display evidence on the screens in front of the jury, in front of counsel and the judges. And so people can see an item, whether it's a knife or a piece of cloth or something, uh, easily. Then also we can video link so that witnesses can give evidence from outside Dublin or abroad, Australia, um, and that is developing and being used. And also we can run things like CCTV footage and everybody can see it. So it really has made the trials more efficient. People tend to be very, very fearful of the legal system. Is that something that worries you? Well, I definitely would hope that this kind of programme would help them. That our courts are open to the public and we hope that people will come into them, whether it's their local court or this building, a magnificent new building, um, or into the four courts. Here in the CCJ, we have two school tours every day. Really? And, uh, and we also have mock trials for transition year and we welcome uh, people to come and visit us and to see their building. Unfortunately, uh, children are required to give evidence in court, but we have a specially designed children's room in the CCJ, uh, designed in consultation with Bernardo's. And as you can see, there are games to play, mm. and we have very special electronic wizardry there for them to play with, <laughs> and that's to keep them amused. But also that means when they move across and they go into the room to give their video link evidence, they're using the same kind of technology. Uh, that they will use when they're giving their evidence. And that they're used to from home. And of course, our young children are. <laughs> Despite these fine surroundings, it is, I suppose, a place of sadness. People come, they're in trouble, and it does tend a lot to be the same people coming back. What's the answer to that? Well, it is indeed sad, and it's very unfortunate when people have to go to prison. But I'm in favour of alternatives. Uh, for example, in our drug court, a young person goes into a programme and instead of going into prison, they enter into uh, a programme for about 18 months where they are supervised by the probation office, where they are off drugs and are monitored, and where they enter into either an education system or else they take up a job. And they have to report weekly or monthly to the district justice and then at the end of the program if they have fulfilled all the parts of it they graduate and this is an absolutely wonderful day they and their family come into court and they are given a certificate by the, the district justice that they have graduated this program and far fewer of them repeat than others who have been in prison would ever think that there'd be a garden like this on the roof of the CCJs. Yes, and indeed it's one of several because we also have a garden for the jurors, for the people who work here and for the public. And um, you can see as we look down the river the four courts uh -huh. uh, and this is another iconic building, beautifully built, uh, marvellous craftsmanship and I hope that in 200 years uh, people will be able to come and work here as well. Mm -hmm.